Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Hawaii and welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading all about your next relationship, okay? Um, so we're not pulling on anyone that you have dealt with in the past. This is new energy, new person, new relationship. Um, and we are going to see what all is going to entail within that relationship with this next person that you are manifesting in your life y'all may hear my fan and my ac unit in the background i live in louisiana baby it's entirely too damn hot for me to cut off either one of them all right but i do have my door closed so hopefully the sound um oops, that came out quick hopefully the sound um it's not too loud you know so the card that flips out we have old habits so i feel like the reason you may be feeling like me i have been i have been um dreaming of this person i swear y'all like for maybe like going almost two years now um it's very weird and i've never experienced anything like this before in my life okay um but yeah i've been I dream and like connect with this person in the dream state, but I have not met them in the physical. And recently, like these past couple of days, it's been this energy where I'm like tired of like being single. Like, you know, like I feel like I've done enough work on myself and I truly am a believer that there is only so much that you can do on your own. And I feel like that's, that's like in general, right? That's not just in love, that's in business that's in friendship, that's in family. There's only so much that you can do when you are by yourself. You need people. We we need the, the growth, the lessons, the love, the joy that come from connection with another person. So you may have been feeling that very similar energy. Like you know that there's a relationship. You know that there is a person that is out there that you are gonna meet, but you don't, it's like their energy signature is very, familiar to you even though you've never you haven't crossed paths yet you haven't met this person in person you know um so there is an old habit that you have and we're gonna f go into the tarot we're gonna figure out what that is but there's old habits that you have um whether you realize it or not that you're still working through that is the reason why you know this person has not manifested in your reality as of yet. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Try to find his old habits as it relates to the collective, their new partner. Thank you, Spirit. So we have old soul you have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years so we got old soul old habits and at the bottom of the deck we have new door your prayers have been answered and a new door is being held open for you so this person you are too everyone serves as a mirror right so what i'm getting is like you and this person are very old souls and you've been you've been with this person before in other lifetimes and that is the reason why you may be like me like you know whether you're actually dreaming and you physically see this person or um you just can feel their energy you can feel their aura you can you already know like their personality, you know um, their energy signature. It's because you and this person, y'all have been through many lifetimes um, together. You guys both, maybe in this lifetime, there's a lot that y'all have went through that you've been through um, in this lifetime. <clears throat> but that was because there's lessons that you, you know, it, Sometimes you gotta go through some shit, okay? Cause you gotta learn, you gotta, you gotta go through lessons. Um, there's things that in the past, you know, in past lives, y'all may have, um, I'm picking up on like North Node, North Node, South Node energy. So um, there's like, wh wherever your South Node placement is, you need to look into that, into that South Node placement. Um, 
And I think that will also give an indication of those habits, those things that you are really working through in this lifetime um, and those blockages that are slowing up you meeting this, you know, this person manifesting in the 3D. So let's get some tarot out here. Already from what I can see is that y'all have definitely been through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, okay, <clears throat> that you have worked through already. Spirit, clarify, clarify these old habits. What are these old habits? Damn, that's <laughs> The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what I am getting with that Ten of Pentacles, and I don't know if this is for you or if this is the person, you know, the, your person. Take it how it resonates. You know where you would fit in this storyline. But either you or your person, there is this energy here of someone coming from a very well-off background, um, or like a very close-knit, close knit close close-knit family circle um they could come i heard old money but this person can be they are very well off very financially secured whether that's you or that's them if it's whether it's you or them with that clarifying the old habits um someone is having a hard time standing in their true power or like they're having a hard time um being able to stand on their own being able to make decisions for themselves being able to really live out in their own authenticity because they come from such a strong family dynamic that they make their decisions based off of what their family wants like they they don't really want to you know they don't desire to uh, rock the boat in any way uh, everything kind of runs I heard as like a well-oiled machine okay and what you're the lesson with this is that yes it's okay for you to of course to come from wealth to have a close-knit family and that's a beautiful thing but when it comes to five of wands at the bottom of the deck when it comes to your own happiness and your own truth your own authenticity the life that you desire to live for yourself um nobody else knows or can give you answers for how that's supposed to look right um what i'm getting with this five of wands and this ten of pentacles is that some of y'all the reason why you feel like you already you can feel this person's energy so strongly within your energy is because th they they are very much aware of who you are now again i do not feel like someone has reached out to you they have not said anything um but this person they are very very well aware of who you are this person whether this is like through social media whether this is within the community um somehow some way they are aware and i feel like maybe they went to someone for advice um some of somebody has someone who watches them from fake pages um this person could be and i hate to say that i don't like to be that reader but i don't want to say celebrity but um because even what that means in this day and age is changing right what it means to be a celebrity but this person has a lot of they like they have a lot of clout right people know who they are um they don't just have money like they have notoriety whether this is within the realms again of celebrity or this is just someone who is very well known within your community okay and i feel like this person may have expressed interest shown someone maybe they've shown a picture or they just they just brought it up in like casual conversation to their family you know wanting to kind of see where their head is and it didn't go or play out the way that they wanted it to 
so they've been holding back they've been again just watching and they haven't really reached out they haven't said anything to you okay spirit clarify this ten of pentacles clarify this ten of pentacles that is too many cards spirit clarify the ten of pentacles clarify the ten of pentacles We're going to take the one I flipped over. This is too many. So, Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the temperance. Yeah. This person has... This is the energy of someone, y'all. They, they, they have such a... They have such a a um, sweet, innocent, like spirit about them is what I'm getting with this temperance and this Ten of Pentacles energy. This is someone who, like, if this is a masculine, they very much know how to treat a woman. They could have been raised by very strong um, feminine, feminines in their life, their mother, grandmother, aunts, um, but they are a very gentle soul. Um, and I do feel like Spirit said, wait, let me pull another card before I say that. Hold on. They are a gentle soul. Um, they know how to treat a woman <laughs> with this ten of pentacles and this temperance here. This is someone who they look at love they they want and desire that old school type of love that's what i'm getting this is someone that um like this new generation y'all may be feeling like that too didn't i tell y'all the page of at the bottom of the deck i told y'all there is someone who is watching um three of pentacles they watch you maybe they watch your work if you do something within like you know if you are on social media um they watch you, they want to invest in you, um, whether that's investing you as a person, your image, your business, you, they want to invest, okay. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so this person, they they don't, they don't follow like this new age, um, gender war, um, men asking, I'm not, not going to say men, masculines, because you can be a feminine and identify with masculine energy. Um, this masculine energy does not transcribe to this new age dating, this new age world. They very much so believe that the masculine within their relationship, that there's just certain, it's certain, they have certain duties. It's, it's, um, they should they should show up in a certain way and as a feminine within a relationship you should show up within a certain way this is a, a man that i did i knew that this was gonna come up but this is a man that um he believes that his job is to provide okay sprinkle sprinkle um he believes that it's his job and his duty is to provide is to take care of the his woman of women around him of children whether they are his children cousins brothers whatever he feels like that that is his duty and that is his job um tell me more spirit so we have the knight of cups and it came out reverse yeah they somebody wants to extend like they want to say something they want to extend some sort of love offer they want to go out they want to date but there's an energy that is surrounding it of fear okay of fear we got the queen of wands and the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck this person can this person may view you as someone that is very strong they may view you as someone who is very attractive like you could have a lot of suitors you can have a lot of they that's crazy they don't even know you are like y'all have not spoken yet but they view you in a very high regard so because of that it's almost this energy of intimidation but i don't understand where the intimidation will come from because this person okay spirit 
that's what it is okay there is a insecurity within your person your future person because while they do have a lot and they do come from a lot because they are this old school mindset this old school mentality because it's what they come from and not what they feel like they've acquired on their own right um that makes them feel very insecure that makes them feel like maybe they aren't um they aren't in a place where they should be focusing on dating right now they're not in a place where um that shouldn't be their main priority i feel like someone they feel like it shouldn't be their priority but they can't stop watching you because of how attractive you are because of how they view you she literally y'all see her shirt literally says confidence you exude whether you realize it or not um you exude just this energy of like magnetism and charisma and attractiveness and confidence like I feel like this y'all may come from two very different worlds, two very different backgrounds, whether this is financially or whether this is like two different cultures, whether this is two different races, like y'all worlds are very different, but at your core, you're very much the same. Um tell me more. I cannot the freaking two of cups yeah they want to connect they want to talk to you they want to reach out they want to take you out okay page of cups at the bottom of the deck and i feel like it's going to be happening it's going to be coming in because this person y'all they have been watching y'all for at least i just heard it's been at least a year at least a year someone has been watching you from fake pages and they are finally going to be getting the courage to open up their mouth to say something. Some of y'all, they already have. <laughs> they already have, but they don't do it from their own page. They do it from, they do it from fake pages. Okay. Um, but I do feel like this person is going to be coming out. They're going to be connecting because they've been watching you for so long. It's a bit, I mean, what else you going to do? You know, eventually you have to say something. Like this person, just as much as you can feel their energy and you don't even know who they are, imagine how much they feel your energy from just watching you on social media. Like from just like watching your posts constantly and consistently. They, as much as you feel like they know you, um, I'm sorry, as much as you feel like you know them, they also feel like they know you, okay? And there's a lot that y'all can relate to. And they they ready. I feel like it's going to start off very, very small. Page of cuts at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's going to be very, very small. Also, what I'm getting to with that page of cups energy, y'all are dealing with someone who they have never had a very serious death at the bottom of the deck. They've never had a serious relationship. They have never seriously dated somebody could be a virgin um but y'all are there it's this energy of someone that they've never had a serious connection they've never had a serious relationship so they may also view you as more experienced within the dating realm as well so whether you um you've just had a long-term partnership like long-term um relationships whether you have been married before or you know you may have children or whatever this to them this dynamic is a lot <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot and that may be also why um they have not reached out and they haven't reached like reached out or said anything um but they want to very badly they're going to they just have not yet and i feel like there's going to be a lot of um transformation that is going to be happening um once they do whatever pain or like heartbreak whatever bullshit you've been through in the past 
with other partners, um, with family. This is a person that is going to come into your life and they just want to create a life of ease. Like they don't want you to have to do anything extra. They don't, they don't, they don't need anything from you, but you like, they don't need you to be anything that you're not. They don't need you to try to show up in any, like they desire real, raw, authentic connection. Um, and yeah, that, that is, <laughs> that is what they desire. And they feel like they have found that in you. We got the king of swords y'all could be dealing with an air sign um uh, this person could have air in their chart gemini aquarius um or libra this is someone who is very honest right this is someone that they will tell the truth okay queen of swords at the bottom of the deck and you are you are this person y'all are the it's like the perfect match right you have been through because the queen of swords is the queen of swords is the energy of someone that is very independent it's this energy of someone who they know their truth they know their worth they know their value um they are not going to be easily swayed by uh, emotions or by anything that just logically does not make sense and I feel like you guys are the perfect pair because this person operates by that same narrative. Like, honesty is really the best policy. They um, are very business savvy and you may be as well. Um, you may own your own business or desire to own your own business. Um, this person works for themselves in some sense, in some capacity. Very beautiful energy. It's a match, okay? Slide. Okay, let, let me change you first and then I'll let you go back. Okay. Okay, so let me get two more to wrap this up because my daughter. What's the final? What's the final? I got the pig. Okay. Alright, so we got the Six of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Devil. So that is also what's blocking this connection or this person um either you or this person is still connected to someone from the past or there's someone from your past who you have had dealings with you could have children with with the six of uh cups but this person um whoever this king of cups they could have water somewhere aspect in their chart cancer pisces um scorpio they someone it has a very obsessive energy like they are very obsessed and someone can feel like this newness they feel a relationship that is on the horizon for y'all and they do not want it to happen like they 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 do not they do not want you to come into union with whoever this person is um but yeah they they want you to be very like mentally stuck, mentally stagnant, confused, to feel like you're unworthy of love, you're unworthy of connection, you're unworthy of having someone show up and love you and nurture you and provide for you and protect you. But, girl, they need to go somewhere and heal because what God has for you, baby, can't nobody stop that. All right, so let's get an oracle real quick. And... Yep, that is the message. Yep, this person, again, like I said, they have a lot of feelings. They have a lot of emotions. And it's about to come to the light. All right, so that's it. That's all I have for y'all. And I'll check y'all in the next one.